Speaking of pig, let's play a pig game. I love piggy. Piggy's one of my favorite killers to play. Torment Creek is a very difficult map, especially for pig, who's not the strongest of killers. But with this build that we're running here, a chase build, it will help us clear out some of the strong pallets and hopefully get a, a win out of this one. We've got a survivor crouching in the corn over here. Hello, how you doing? I probably could have hit her as she passed by me. That's fine. Our build is um, save the best for last, enduring, uh, pop goes the weasel, and uh, spirit fury. So this build pretty much revolves around chases only. Now, we remember that this Meg from the previous game uh, was very big on dropping pallets early, wasn't she? So what we do is we just take her shortest route to the pallet as possible. Let her drop the pallet because she's going to. That's a very strong pallet, by the way, that you can get about three loops on. And she dropped it instantly, so that's a big mistake for her. Gonna cost her team greatly. And then we're gonna catch her here because there's no pallets for her to save her. She needs a hit from one of our teammates. Not gonna get it. I guess there was a pallet here. We get the trap on her head. I don't know which one of these survivors is the obsession. Looking for TMP. It's the ace. That's a good, almost good thing. So, Ace is my obsession, so I need to keep that in mind because I'm using Save the Best for Last. And the reason we're using Save the Best for Last on Pig is because I can do a dash attack and it will force the survivor to... Uh, it's not a, a, a basic attack, so it won't actually um, cause me to lose my Save the Best for Last stacks. There's a pallet right here. She's going to drop it immediately. She is. Big waste of the shack pallet. You're actually better just taking the, uh, the M1 there. She still gets M1'd after being, dropping a pallet, which is gross. Like, you've just dropped Shack pallet and you still got M1'd. Like, how does that actually make you feel? I almost got her again with that move. With that, she should know she's playing against the same killer that she just played against. I'm gonna go through the window. No, she's not. So we crouch there. It hides our red light. Oh, I forgot she had dead hard. That's so bad. Oh man, really? We have bloodlust. So I think we catch her this time. Might as well, since she's uh, not forcing me to do anything. That was a very long chase. I should have missed my first whiff on uh, swing on her. I should have known that she had dead hard. I've just played against her. That's a rookie error. Sometimes it's hard to remember who has um, dead hard, who who doesn't. That hit was so delayed. Yeah, we just edged into a hitbox before it went over to the other side of the pallet, basically. Survivor here, it's glory. We got pop goes the weasel, so we'll give this a kick. She's holding her sprint burst by the looks of it. We have Spirit Fury. I thought she might be camping the pallet. Nah, we can't get that. That's fine, Spirit Fury. Five stacks have saved the best for last. That window's open, which is the worst case scenario for us as a killer because this is a very strong loop. And she's gonna take it. And she's taking it the right direction. I reckon she gets two more loops on this. Maybe one. No, she's not actually going for the loops on this, so that's really good for us. That's going to shut down this loop. We get our bloodlust. This pallet's already gone. And she goes down here. We're going to have to wait for a dead hard. She's not actually looking behind us, so she might not have it. But as it turns out, she did. Six stacks of bet say the best for last. We need to find a new gen to kick. I'm looking to that one over there in the T1L1. And I actually, I see the ace running towards it, so that's exactly where we're going. Actually, never mind. We're going to this one here. It's right next to us. Meg's on it. She has sprint burst. No, she doesn't because she got the rescue. Give this a kick. And then that gen over there is the gen we need to be worried about, but there's not much we can do about it right now. I could have actually hit her through the window there, but it's better just to take the vault, close the gap. This gen has progress on it as well. Two L War T Wars. So this is a. Oh, wait, this isn't an L War T War. Darn. I thought it was. Ah! 
This is a very basic survivor. I feel very confident that I can make plays like that and just catch her out. Okay. That gen over there's got someone back on it. It is a one-man gen, so maybe I'd leave it in play, but honestly, I think I should go kick it. I mean, both these gens have a lot of progress on them. I'm actually going to go kick this one instead because there's a survivor on it. Ace gets denied the rescue. I'm avoiding chases with Ace right now because I have to dash attack him to save my save the best for last. Which I don't really want to do. But he gave us one. I think there's a survivor on this gen over here. There is. Oh, okay, so you're going to take the aggro? You're in trouble, lovely. She has dead hard and she's in a dead zone, so that we're just going to get right up her. Probably didn't want to take the aggro there. With the save, of last, save the best for last hit, we can continue that chase pretty quickly. That single man gen might have another survivor on it. I reckon they're actually going to be on that one over there, but I don't really know for sure. Let's have a look. Don't see a survivor, so we're going to go towards this one, which I assume the ace is on injured. Can he see me? He can, but he's not doing anything about it. Cool, so we get the down on ace without losing our save the best for last, which is very ideal. And we can actually put him in the j uh, basement here. But I'm not going to because Laurie's on this gen over here. And I want to kick the gen. Laurie went this direction. I need to get Laurie on a hook now, if possible. That would be perfect. She's gone to the back of this loop over here. I don't see or hear it, which means she has iron will. Actually, no, that doesn't mean anything because she's not injured. Okay. Running into another dead zone. She has the uh, window here, but the pallet's gone. She had dead hard last time, so we'll wait that out. If you're paying attention as killer, dead hard is like a, a one-time perk, basically, to avoid a hit. And from that point onwards, you need to start using your dead hard to gain distance on the killer to get to a level loop. You go back to this one? He did. Oh no, that's Laurie. Uh, Nia. Maybe he did, actually. This could be him. I don't see any blood, though. But I hear him. He ran towards me. You can see I'm doing my charge attack here. Obviously, it would be quicker to hit him regularly, but because of that, because of we're using save the best for last and charge attacks don't affect save best for last stacks, we need to go for the uh, dash attack on him. I'm gonna put him in the basement this time. We've actually brought this game to a halt. We have two survivors having traps on their heads and trying to get their traps off before a gen gets popped. And then also, um, Pop Goes the Weasel has been really affected this game. She has dead hard. She should have dead hearted early to get to the window, but she didn't. Now she's got to wait, 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 wait. All right, so this guy's got D strike. That's why she's not dead harding. And so I'm going to go kick this gen over here and just leave her on the ground for a little bit. I'm back for some more drinking. Ooh. I'm going to go kill this survivor down here instead. Need to make sure I don't hit Ace, or else I lose my stacks. Mm -mm -mm. She should dead hard now. Good. Dead hard for distance. This is why you dead hard for distance. I needed to reverse the loop, so I did it with a dash attack. 
She can't really make this window. So she goes down here. Dude, I don't know where the Meg is. But the Meg has been, I guess, the one with the trap on in their head. There she is. There must be a gen almost ready to pop over there. We need to go find out what she's been doing this whole game. Because if this gen over here has high progress, and it does, oh, uh, damn, we could have actually caught her out. I'm going to go for the ace here because he's in a dead zone and he's dead on hook, and it would be really good to just get another kill this game. And because we haven't lost any save the best for last stacks and save the best for last um, pauses... It's progress completely when you kill the obsession. We now have a permanent eight stacks on save the best for last for our uh, pick here. Really good stuff. I don't know where the rest of these survivors went. What I do know is that this gen over here has some progress on it because I don't think I've kicked it recently, so I'm going to go kick it. Oh, and look who's there. Drink water! I will soon. I will soon, don't you worry. I'm really, really digging this pig build. I know I've said that a couple of times now, but like this this new pig build will say the best for last. It's really revolutionized the way I play pig. I just feel like I'm far more in control. All right. So we know that Laurie was over there. I'm pretty sure this isn't Meg's death hook. Uh, I mean, definitely is her death hook is what I meant to say. The hatch has spawned physically in the world, which means Laurie could be sitting on it if she has found it herself. Or she could be sitting on a gen. Hard to say. Laurie might get the escape here. I see her running over there. So I guess we just have to try and catch up to her. If we get lucky, we might even cut her off the hatch. Or maybe she's sitting on the hatch over there, and that's why she didn't come out from over there. Or maybe she heard my terror radius and decided to reverse with barbecue and chili. So many different things to consider. I think I'm just going to look for the hatch instead over here. Could be in this middle building, I guess. Doesn't sound like it is. Here it is. Lovely. So we got a door here. I don't know where the other gate is. Oh, it's over here. Cool. We actually got a really good uh, patrol for this. And we can stay crouched for the first little bit of it. But we will have to uncrouch eventually. I think Laurie is likely to go to the other gate. But I don't know for sure. It's just a time... Time game. Really good patrol for this. And we get to stay crouched the whole time. So she won't know which gate I'm at. Because I won't have a terror radius. Alright, I think she's on this one now. And she is. Alright, Laurie. Game's over. Unfortunate. Do do do, do do do, da da da, ba da dum, da 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 dum, 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 da da dum. Oh, I missed. <laughs> GG. Whoa! Yo, Esper, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Luca Mate. Luca Mate, welcome to the Dowsers. Enjoy your five emotes, your ad free viewing. Make sure to thank Esper for the gifted sub. Esper, that's so kind of you. What a great way to end the game as well. With a gifted sub. That was a fun game, guys. I'm really enjoying this, this pig build here. I think it's uh, really solid. 
We've actually had back-to-back -back merciless games as well with this pig build, and that was a difficult map for pig. Just to like, just to say, like that's a difficult map for pig, not an easy one. And since we've started using this build, we've had back-to-back -back perfect games. I think we might be onto something. I think we might be onto something. I like it.